Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again. And today's video is about machine screw sizes, which you see here. Now in the last video I talked about how to identify threads, but today I want to talk about these machine screw sizes, which are strictly numbers, not fractional, because many people do not understand that, even though it's just uh, commonly used in the United States. I don't know about other parts of the country, but when you see a box of screws that's a 632 or a 1024, or an 832, what does that mean? Well, the second number is the pitch, the number of threads per, per inch, but the first number, such as 6, 8, and 10, are the uh, diameters, but the diameters translate into decimals, not fractions. There is only one, actually two, on the whole group here that are uh, translate into fractions. A number 5, in fact, is an eighth, one eighth, a number 10 is a 3 sixteenths. All the others are in between. There are many, many nice charts available explaining this or giving you the dimensions here for the uh, screw machine sizes. And, you know, here's a sterret and a green field. This green field one is, is uh, real nice, showing the numbers both in uh, coarse and fine. Straight on down the line here, starting at zero and going up to number 12, and then the second column here is fractional. We know all about that. Now I know a good part of the world is making fun of us here in the USA for this system, but it is a tried and true system. It has made us the greatest industrial nation in the world and the arsenal of democracy, so it is not to be belittled. You have seen my set of uh, taps and drills here countless times in my videos. And this is the handiest thing because I have the tap drill size, the tap drill right there, then the tap, and then the clearance size in uh, most of the common sizes here, starting with the number 3 is the smallest I go, and then a, a 440, 540, 632, 832, 1024, which is the coarse, and the 1032 is the fine. Again, in order to tap that size, you would drill this size. Now that can be looked up in a chart, but this is the handiest thing for my model making. Make yourself one of those if you're in the mood. You saw my Brownell screw checker in the last video, and many other times for that matter, but this is the nice uh, tool because you can identify the threads and it has all the information on it as well. Now the column where I have all the screws is the national course, and that's what I'll talk about. The, the next column here is the national fine, and then there's the NS, which is national special. We don't need to talk about that, but the, the size number one here is 64 threads per inch in the course, and the diameter of it is 73. See how tiny that little screw is? And there's yet one size smaller, a zero, which I do not have, and it's not on this chart anyway. A, uh, let's see, uh, a 256 right here, that little brass one, is uh, 86 thousandths. Then we have a 348, which is 99 thousandths. A, four, four, a 440 is 112. The 540, the black one here, notice that that is eighth of an inch, 125 thousandths. The 632 is uh, 138 thousandths. So you see that they're odd decimal sizes. That's why we have given them numbers. 832 is 164 thousandths. Now the 1024, I told you that is essentially a 3 sixteenths, but here they show 190 and really 187 and a half would be a true 3 sixteenths. Now a 12, and I've talked about a 12 before, that it is such a nice size because it really is fills the gap between a quarter and the 1024, but someone deemed it uh, unnecessary, but I still like it. But let me take the 5 sixteenths out because that's fractional, and the quarter out because I don't want to talk about those. So again, the largest here is 1224, and you can see that it's 216 thousandths. 
There also is a number 14, very, very seldom used, and I believe it's a national special, but it would fill the gap here between the 216 and the 215, because sometimes you want a thread that's just in between. So there you are, all the way from 1 to uh, a number 14, or a number 12, rather, a number 12. How awesome is that? This brown L screw checker is the same as the Brookstone screw checker, and I suspect many other companies used, uh, rebadged these as their own. And Brownells, I think, still sells this, but knowing them, it's probably not cheap. But the other numbers on there, for instance, let's take a look at the number two. A size 51 would be the uh, tap drill size. So that's what those small numbers are all the way down the line. And then the larger holes here, for instance, here's a 5 sixteenths. That's the. Uh, just a gauge to check the size to identify it. And then there's some oddball threads thrown on it, shown on here as well. And the little cheap ruler there to check the length. Inch and a half. And finally, I went to the extra effort here of laying out the taps in all of these sizes. Now, I do not own a zero. That's really tiny because look at how small a number one is. And some of these are coarse and some of these are fine, but that could matter less because I'm going after the sizes here. Here's a, a number two, a number th three, whoop, a, a number four. There's the five, which again is the same as one eighth, a six, an eight. A 10, which is a 3 sixteenths, and finally the 12, the the uh, the orphan size that they have discontinued. I think you probably could get them from McMaster Car, but I don't think you'll find them at Home Depot. They'll laugh you out of the place. Now, as far as finding small screws, here's 256 that came from an auction brass ones, but you're not going to find something like this uh, without really looking or ordering it other than Radio Shack used to sell some of the real small screws in bubble packs, I think for electronic work. But I think Radio Shack is gone, or it's not what it used to be. And here's a box also from an auction that are size uh, number 172. That's, those are fine. But I doubt very much if you're going to find something like that locally. But then again, not too many people work in the small sizes. I seldom do myself. And in the the little engine that I made recently, remember those were BA threads, and they, they are available in the tiniest sizes, but they're hard to get. You have to get them from England. So, there they are, 1 through 12. I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm not sure anyone else has covered this in video. Again, I am aiming this type of instruction more toward beginners or people who are just... Uh, older men that are just getting into this and never really did understand it. So, hope you uh, got something out of this. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now, and I'll see you in my next video.